So building business success, uh, multiplying, growing, how does that actually look? How does that actually, you know, manifest? Uh, not as an idea, but as practicality. So most people, when they think about growing their business, they're, they're thinking in terms of that one thing, like what's that one thing, one action that I'm going to do that's you know, going to make the whole difference. Now, I'm not saying there's uh, never you know, one thing that if you do will have a really good result, but they're not looking at it like, okay, what's the next thing? They're looking at it like the thing, like what's the thing that's almost hidden, almost, almost a secret that nobody knows and they want to use to grow. So the way I look at it is more in terms of taking the different parts of the business and increasing them and multiplying them and also taking, creating new parts for the business to uh, tap into them. So as an example, I have a client that I talked to today and he has uh, a business uh, where people basically you could say they purchase things online from his store and he needs to add more income so he gets his uh, traffic from Google Ads you know paying for Google uh, ads on searches and he he needs more income so instead of trying to find the magic solution like he hoped he would I actually found a new avenue for him to generate income, which was the fact that people were, at, at least once a day, somebody was contacting him and asking for more information about the products. And uh, this could easily be turned into a consultation call, 30 second, 30 minute consultation that would easily end in a sale, that would easily uh, take squeeze out the traffic a lot more in terms of the value that you get back from the traffic that you create by paying. So you get a lot more bang for your buck. So we essentially we generated a new limb. If his business was a body, we generated a new limb that creates revenue. Charlie Munger, he's uh, Warren Buffett's partner, talks about the Lollapalooza effect. So the Lollapalooza effect is basically the sum parts of the organ or of the body, uh, the business in this case, when they multiply, if you increase each of them, you get multi multiplied results. Which means that if I have uh, my business of coaching, I basically take it into many and, and slice it into many many parts that are all multiples of each other. So I have uh, how much, how many views do I get? How many of them get turned into um, into somebody who contacts me? How many people? What percent? I mean, what percent of people who contact me turn into into clients? Uh, how much am I charging? on average per client. Um, how much, how, what percentage of them pay again? What's the, uh, the average uh, second uh, purchase that they make in terms of how much money they put in? So there's many variables and it's an equation. It's like this times this times this times this. For example, the amount as a salesman as a salesperson it's like the amount of meetings times the, the closing rate times the price that's how much money you make the average price or average sale price now if you multiply the meetings by two let's say you multiply the meetings by four so it's, it's a big multiple you basically get four times more opportunities to sell so the end result would be four times bigger. But then if you also multiply the price by two, now you get, uh, it's, not, it's not like times four and then times two and they're separate. It's basically times eight. 
and then you add another multiple which is you, you know you double your close rate so now it's not times 8 it's times 16 because you took three variables and you multiplied each so it, it basically builds upon itself so the more multiple you add the more growth you get you know by, by a large amount sorry for that by a large amount so the way you want to treat your business is you want you want to to actually divide it into every variable that goes into that equation um, again how much money is invested how much uh, how many views how many views turn into this and just just a, an equ a long equation that includes all the factors and then you want to know what's the value of each factor so your job is to either increase a factor or add a new factor because <laughs> again let's say you have you know the business and you have the, the whole you know the sales and everything and now you implement a new factor a second sale so after the first sale the salesperson goes uh, hey uh, we also have this product which goes with you know the product you just bought and 30% of the time you know they buy that too so now you add so second close second sale closing rate 30% and average uh, payment is this much so you basically get a formula where you multi your job is to make sure that all the variables uh, incre increase and also adding new multipliers new variables and thus you increase the equations um, overall value so I hope that makes sense and when you increase one Avenue like for example I told him that he should double the prices and if he doubles the prices that's a big difference on the equation because now if he has twice the sales because he's calling the people to contact he's actually going on sales calls with them plus he doubles the sales the the price sorry what that means is he's going to get four times more money from two simple actions and what that's going to allow is it's going to give him a much much bigger space basically a profit margin and he's actually going to have a big profit from his campaigns it's not going to be losing money it's not going to be uh, breaking even he's going to make money from the campaign so he can basically multiply the campaign now also so instead of investing X amount into ads he can now invest 5x because he can scale now so you take the equation you double the sales by two you double the price by two and then you double the, the ads by five so you basically get 20 times the amount you know roughly a bit less and I'll explain why when you increase something something else might go down so when you increase the price for example when you double the price most likely um, if you double it you're gonna lose a bit of the closing rate not necessarily since if you're a coach for example and you charge $300 I'm already telling you that that by upping it to a thousand more you're gonna sell more so you're not only gonna make more money you're gonna sell more people on average um, but that's that's a video for uh, <laughs> another time but but just so you know and if you want to know right now why just contact me and um, and I have many examples of this by the way both me and many many students of mine it's, it's a fact it's a scientific fact so when you increase the price by two you you might get a, a decrease in the sales uh, in, the, in the closing rate and you want to ask yourself does this increase the overall result or does it decrease it if I double my price and I get 15% less sales I, I effectively what that means is I I'm I, I believe it's uh, 1.75 roughly 
1.7 times more money. So is it worth it? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> you know, uh, it just makes sense in the equation. So use this equation technology as a, as a tool to, to take your business and, and basically keep expanding it. Again, take all the variables in your business, the percentages, the, you know, the closing rates, and that's why you have to keep statistics, by the way, of everything. And when you have the full equation, now you simply have to ask yourself, what do I want to focus on? Pick one, pick a variable to focus on. Okay, I'm going to improve the closing rate. I'm going to improve the... Uh, the, the one thing you can always improve uh, infinitely is the amount of attention you get, meaning how many opportunities. But it's not always the right order. So, for example, uh, like I said earlier, using ads on Facebook, Google, that's a tool to get an infinite amount of attention because the more money you spend, the more... Uh, uh, attention you get so if you can make your business profitable with the ads then you can basically get much more attention too so if you just if you focus on attention before focusing on having you know a good enough price having uh, great closing rates basically having a very very profitable profitable business then there's no point in increasing the attention because it's, it's going to be an uphill battle. Uh, basically, you know, imagine what I'm doing with the many videos and everything. If I want, I can easily start putting in ads and the ads basically increase the attention by a lot. And then I still get to keep fairly high profit margins because when you close one in five, you know, about one in five calls and make a couple of thousand dollars, it's pretty easy to keep high margins with that so always begin with uh, what appears to be the most relevant or what will open up as many channels as possible so again in this case for example if you take the closing rate and you double it and then you take the amount of opportunities you get from the attention you already get so you you, you double the, the conversions to leads and you also double the price, you basically get six times more value from the same amount of attention. So now the attention can, can grow exponentially by many, many multiples because now if you invest money into the attention, uh, it's going to be very, very profitable. So you can grow the attention by times 10. <laughs> anyway, I know this video is uh, pretty academic. It's kind of, uh, I don't know if academic is the good word, but it's pretty technical. Um, this is the way I look at my business when I run it. This is the way I look at my client's business. It's always, once you get started, I mean, not. it doesn't matter if the reason I say you have to get attention first is because until you get attention nothing else can exist you, you can't know what's your closing rate you know um, your average sale your convert you can't know anything until you get attention so do whatever it takes to get attention before anything you know before even having a product because again it's what creates the <laughs> it's, it's, it's the base like you can't have anything without it but once you have attention now you have some statistics going <clears throat> and now you can actually know what to expect from the business so i hope it makes the video makes sense uh take it and apply it in your business if you have one again just write down all the different variables that apply to your business um, and your job is to either increase one of the var variables or to add a brand new variable that will add new multiples, like again, like having a second sale. I hope this video helps you a lot. Um, I know this concept of taking everything and breaking it down into variables and, and, and just a long formula, for me, it, it made a huge difference because business stopped being this ethereal, ambiguous thing and started being this very uh, mathematical, direct thing that I can uh, 
um, confront. And, uh, and, and it allowed me to work with clients and achieve very, very tangible results. For example, you know, you have a client that makes a thousand dollars a month in his business because he just opened it and I charge him two thousand dollars for one month, which you know it's like, oh wow, it's crazy, you know, thousand two thousand dollars, which you know it's not a lot of money, but you know, it's like okay, how do I justify this value? So I just quickly find like, oh, um, well, he's charging really low prices. <laughs> so I just triple his price and bam, like he goes up from a thousand to three thousand. Uh, usually more <laughs> because uh like i said in certain certain um certain industries when you up the price uh it actually it not only gives you more money it also gives you a higher closing rate so again if you're in a consultation industry uh contact me about it i'll explain why let me know if you have any questions let me know if you need my consultation now for free call session for anyone who's uh, a serious guy or girl and wants some help and um, if you haven't subscribed subscribe <laughs> we're almost at 500 very very fast growth because the channel is um, only it was only at 400 at the beginning of the month uh, no more like 25 days ago uh, so, um, so that's a growth of uh, about twenty. Now, what I'm talking about, it's like it's like twenty five percent in a month, which is nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and um, let me know if you need anything else. I'd love to help you.